My name's not Jeremy Wade. I create content on the internet. And of course, I'm a fully grown man-child. I've unboxed all sorts of things on my channel, but what I'm about to go after might be my biggest challenge yet. I've scoured the internet looking for toys to unbox on this channel, but there's been one that has invaded me until now. Its name is the Colossal Mosasaur. After cross-referencing different eyewitness accounts, this is the most accurate depiction I could come up with. And I think I know where to find it. My journey has led me here, to one of the remotest parts of the world. And it was here I believed I would find what I had come looking for. And then we stumbled upon one of the telltale signs that a monster was nearby. There it is, there it is, look, here, come. This is, this is what I was, I was hoping we wouldn't find, but this is a calling card of what we're looking for. If you're unfamiliar with this, this is the Hasbro Mosasaurus, and it looks like um, what we've been looking for had a snack. And uh, the new Mattel uh, models or creatures that have been coming out have been doing this to Hasbro, really just showing them up and uh, showcasing all their flaws. But it shows that we're on the right track. I knew that the creature behind the attack had to be close by. And sure enough, not too far away, I found a body of water. A river like this could be housing a monster. And I was determined to find out what. I hadn't counted on there being this many mosquitoes, but I couldn't let this stop me. So I came prepared. When it came to reeling in this thing, I thought I'd bring in only what was necessary for taking on such a big beast. This may seem a bit overkill for what I'm after, but this expanded polystyrene rod and high density polyethylene terapathylate lure will give me the flexibility I need for the job. I knew going into this I was going to have to rely on all my experience in order to land this fish. Fish on, fish on, fish on. It's running, it's running. Look at, look at that, look at that, it's running sideways. I knew on the other end of this rod was a monster. You really get your heart going. Oh. There, look, look, see! had to be careful. I've been waiting three years to not catch this. We're on, we're on, we're on, we're on. Some people fish all their lives for something like this. I'd never tried to bring in a fish this size on such delicate gear before. Quickly, quickly, help me bring it out. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Quickly, here we go, here we go. This is what I've been looking for the Mattel Mosasaurus. This creature wouldn't have existed if we, the fans, hadn't made our voices heard. So holding something like this was an incredible feeling. But the Mosasaurus had other plans. Oh. Jesus. Oh, bloody, bloody hell. Whew. Still got a lot of fight in it. I never thought I would be capturing a prehistoric reptile over 60 million years old. But here it is, one of the most successful predators on the entire planet that's ever existed. The Mattel Mosasaurus. Only Hasbro wishes that they could create something this magnificent. And here it is right in front of me. Usually I operate a catch and release sort of policy, but with this guy, I think I'm gonna make an exception. Go on, you're coming over with me. Hello! Hello! Today is an exciting day because we are reviewing and unboxing the Mosasaurus for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. If there was any sort of toy that was coming out for the can't really think of my lines, just making it up. It's unscripted. If you didn't, if you didn't know that, that wasn't painfully clear. The big one, the Mosasaurus. If you remember in the Hasbro version, we did get oh, the Hasbro line. Sorry, we did get a Mosasaurus. However, it didn't seem very good, and is still demanding hundreds and hundreds of pounds on eBay. Why? Because it's the only one. But 
Ta times are changing, and finally we have a good Mosasaurus toy. Mattel stepped in at the final hour, and they delivered magnificent dinosaur toys, amazing people, and even better vehicles. But the one that I was wanting for, and actually it hasn't been released in the UK yet, is the Mosasaurus. So I had my beautiful friend send it over. Thank you, KLN, there you go, yeah. And it's thanks to him that I am I was able to even make this skit and um, do the, um, and unbox it. And presenting it, hopefully this time, is my beautiful assistant, take it away. Oh, okay, that's okay, just, you know, throw it at me. If my assistant has blue hair, and blue is in the movie, and I did unboxings before the movie was out, and she had blue hair then. They're the same. Or she ate her, you know, whatever. Anyway, we got the Mosasaurus. Uh, no! She's not single. I'm pretty sure she's taken. So stop asking, you weirdos. Anyway, here it is, the Mosasaurus. I can't even get it in shot without doing it like that. Yeah, yeah, how does that look? Ah, oh, it looks fantastic. Although I can't really even... Hold on, we'll get the light looking right. There we go, look at it there in its box. Already actually looking at it, I can see that this uh, Mosasaurus is not going to be as big as the colossal T-Rex. But it looks amazing. We've got this... I just want to talk about the box for a second. We've got this Mosasaurus enclosure running along the bottom there, which looks amazing. And you've got like it splashing out. This is that iconic scene from Jurassic World where it comes out and eats the shark. And they even went to the effort. Can you see there? Can you see? Of putting a shark there. Strangely enough, it's a tiger shark, I think, and not a great white. And I'm pretty sure they fed it great whites, but hey, anyway. But one of the amazing things about this is it has a real feel. So down there you can push and you can feel that it's actually rubber. And to be honest, the whole toy, except for the bottom jaw, is made out of entirely rubber. Look, if you see that, you see? Look, we'll get it, oh, and I'll squish it, hold on. See? So I can, I can squish the head. So there's the eye. You can squish it. You can squish the whole thing. It's entirely made of rubber, which is amazing. It's not just a portion. It's not just its neck. They went, no, the fans really liked the real feel dinosaur skin. And they've even called it real feel. They know what, like Mattel did their research and they knew what we liked, or at least the kennel lines. And they've brought it back. Hasbro didn't, I mean, they, they kind of did, but only to sort of be like, oh, look, we did it even though it tore away from the plastic, God knows what else. But this time, Mattel have delivered. Oh boy, have they delivered. And without further ado, actually we'll look at the back of the box, because you get a cool, um, <laughs> you get a nice uh, rendering of the Mosasaurus there. Um, I do miss the days of the original dioramas. You know, when they spent time putting the toy in a cool looking environment with people like shooting it and stuff. I do miss that and I feel like this, it just, it just, look at it. it it's, it's begging for it. It's begging to have like the Mosasaurus, this Mosasaur, there eating like Indominus or sorry, the Indoraptor or T-Rex, just having fun with the ideas. And of course you've got another hole here for the real feel that you can kind of feel. It's not too soft, it's kind of hard rubber, but hopefully that hard rubber will lend itself very well in the years to come that kids are gonna have this thing. So without further ado, let's get it out of the box. Oh God, he's got no legs. I release you from your bonds of oppression. Yes. We call those the man-child restraints. Ha ha, yes. <laughs> that looks so good already. Oh my God. Oh, instructions. <laughs> Why do I only have two flippers? Any more than two flippers? Can man put it in? It's supposed to fit. Ha ha. Ah, I might actually genuinely need the instructions for this. Which bit you want? Mosasaur fin soup. Oh, I've done one. Yeah. Yeah, look at this. This looks amazing. I mean, and even the inside the mouth. Hold on, I'll get a close up shot of that. Look, this is the inside. Look at those. You've got the second row of teeth there. And the Mosasaur is sort of known for, at least the Jurassic World Mosasaur. But if we shine the light on it, the inside, if you can hear that, is solid plastic. 
Uh, I don't think the top, the top mouth is, and the top mouth is rubber. Like, th that, I could sort of do that with like a tiny little movement, and then it just keeps its mouth open. Like, look at that. But then I guess you could sort of go, maybe not. <laughs> There you go, you can sort of get his mouth moving if you jilt. If you shake that like on And then if we get a nice look, because I want it, I want you guys to see this. Look at that, this back. Huh? If we just follow it down, that's so crocodilian and reptile-like. All the way to the tail, that is fantastic. The level of detail on this thing. I'm so happy. You can't get better than this. This is the Mosasaurus from Jurassic World. One million percent. The packaging in itself, this, like, can I just, that is amazing. You've got all, the, you've got the lagoon in the background there. I don't know if you can really see it too well. And the fence. The packaging alone won me over. And then seeing this, the only thing, if I've got one thing to say that um, isn't really a downside about it, um, is I wish it was a little bit longer. Like, that head is big, but then the body should be, like, out to here. And I was kind of hoping that it was going to be like just as big as the T-Rex. Um, and it's not actually what I would say. Like if we bring the colossal T-Rex in, look at this for a size comparison. Yeah, you forgot how big this bugger was. <laughs> like if we put like tail to tail, so I'll put you up there and we'll put, nah, it's not, it's going to be nowhere close. Look at this. So tail to tail, there you go. Look at that, the T-Rex is like double the size. I would hope that this colossal T-Rex is, is a little bit more expensive than this. Oh, sorry, I should say this is cheaper. Um, we don't want to make anything more expensive because I, like, and the only thing as well that I've got to admit about the Mosasaurus that when I read it, really sort of, mm, I was like, really, are you kidding me? You've made a Mosasaurus toy, an aquatic reptile, and it says, do not place in water. Really? Really? <laughs> you don't think some kid's gonna be like, I'm gonna throw this in the swimming pool! <laughs> and just like, oh god, don't break. Oh, oh, there we go, I didn't click it in properly. Yeah. So its flippers have articulation, so you can move it up, you can move it down. Uh, you can also rotate them, so it can be like, Oh my gosh! <laughs> so we can give you like a, a Mosasaur hug. But yeah, you've got loads of possibility with this. You do have as well, in case anybody wants it, I know that most people aren't gonna be fussed about it at this point anyway. But there you go, there's your scan code. If you do want to get that in the, in the game, um, you can use it there. But to be honest, um, I think that app was just basically a shopping list for kids so they could be like mom I want this one and this one and this one and also for toy collectors which is a really cool thing and to be honest I don't think there's anything bad about putting that little label there because we're not gonna see it it's on the underneath but yeah even on the head if we look at the head sculpt you've got the um you've got the nostrils there the eye leaves a little bit to, des to be desired look at that that's a thumbnail right there BAM just like have it open a little bit <laughs> One million views! <laughs> the eye, yeah, if we get a really good close-up on the eye. Isn't really anything going on there. Even the color itself um, leaves a lot to be desired. They, they've went for this very off color, like very pastel. So if you look throughout the entire uh, range, in which right now I can really only find the uh, Carnotaurus, um, and this doesn't really reflect that baby color. It's like a very washed out, that's it. That, no, off, a very washed out sort of color scheme. The only thing is the T-Rex um, is kind of the opposite because the T-Rex has got this very like vivid yellow eye, but the Mosasaurus is a little bit like off yellow, greenish. Uh, but here you go, here's a size comparison for the rest of the range because the Carnotaurus is quite a big one. We'll also bring in some other ones just so you can get some sense of scale here. I would say the Mosasaur again needs to be a little bit bigger. To be honest, they're going to play well together. I would say that the Carnotaurus is, if, if we say he's the standard, Mosasaur needs to be a little bit bigger. Triceratops needs to be a little bit bigger. And Blue, I would say Blue is probably about right. This is the little like tenner, 10 pound uh, toy. There is a battle damage Blue, which seems to be more detailed and also a little bit bigger. So this is probably smaller in comparison to the entire scale. But just just the fact that we have a Mosasaurus that can like put the put toast in its mouth and not only that, hold on. Yeah, now that I think about it, we could do something way better with this. You could, well, actually, to be honest, <laughs> Indominus Rex is a little bit big, but you could have like Mosasaurus finally, 
finally a decent sized Mosasaurus attack Indominus Rex. Only took us three years to get there, but oh God, truth. But in comparison, you see, this is more like it. This is the T-Rex, the thrash and throw T-Rex that can make the amazing sounds like this. So I would say a size comparison between the T-Rex and the Mosasaurus. I would say that's about right. Uh, Mosasaurus, again, might need to be a little bit bigger, like that head. If the head was like scaled down a little bit, it would look better because I really feel like this is like kind of okay. But then when it comes to tail, I want that tail like, you know, a little bit longer. Maybe not twice as long, but a little bit. But really, the level of detail, I'm gonna put you back down there, son. The level of detail on the flippers, even just like little things like that. Look at all the scales, the bumps and nodules, and that's just in the flipper alone. If there's one, okay, I... <laughs> <laughs> I've said this a million times. I've said that when I first unboxed the um, the Basher Biters, I was like, Dimorphodon, that's Beaver's pig. And then when I eventually unboxed some more, I was like, Thrasher T-Rex, that's my pig. Um, and now that I've seen the Mosasaurus, as far as, oh, I didn't say dinosaurs, but you know, um, prehistoric reptiles, as far as prehistoric reptiles go, this is one that we were wanting. As from Jurassic World, when we first saw that the movie and that classic scene where the Mosasaur jumps out, eats the shark, and then it kills Indominus Rex. All the kids wanted this thing, and it just never came. And then it was like on eBay for hundreds, which was such a shame. And now we finally got it. We finally, we finally went, no! And Universal dropped uh, Hasbro and Mattel picked it up and they delivered. By God, they delivered. And like, this is still wave one. I can't imagine what thing, I mean, there's already been leaks on wave two and some new dinosaurs that we've never had before and they look fantastic. And I can't wait, like, I mean, we're not gonna get any more aquatic reptiles. We're not gonna get the Plesiosaurus or, you know, the Styxosaurus, the Lasmosaur, that long neck, the Plesiosaur. We're not gonna get anything like this. But if this is the only one we get, the only Mosasaur we get, I'll be happy with it. This thing looks phenomenal. Like I said, only downside, doesn't go in water. Or does it even say on the box? I'm pretty sure it's like, do not place in water. Well, I, on the box, I can't see anything anywhere about, do not place this toy in water. So, if that is the case, then I would say, uh, Mattel, you probably want to put a little warning thing because every kid is going to throw this straight away in the bath or in a, in a little paddling pool or something. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye a fisherman's only as good as the tools he brings damn it <laughs> can you see it can you see it it's almost there hello everybody watch me catch the mosasaur <laughs> everyone's thinking it's real <laughs> it's not real <laughs> this is this is the best thing ever everyone thinks i've got a real fish <laughs> caught in the teeth <laughs>